What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Ari. Welcome back to another Late Nights with Ari. So, y'all, really quickly, I always try to come back with some juice. So, today I'm just going to do a really quick story time, but it's really not my story time, if that makes sense. I will be talking about the Cardi B taking back her husband offset because for some reason that's what's happening on the internet and that is the topic of today. So I'm going to go ahead and join in and give my two cents on how do I feel about her taking back her husband. Like, like before I get into this video, if you have not already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you give this video a nice big thumbs up and leave some comments down below for me, okay? So luckily... I came across this article. I'm actually going to put the article link down below just in case you guys want to go and check it out. That's not my business. That's yours. So I just want to kind of, I was reading the article itself and she just said some things in there that's familiar, familiar to myself as far as relationship wise. And I just want to read something to you really fast. She said, I just be starting to miss him. It's hard not to talk to my best friend and it's really hard to have no D. Y'all know what she mean, said Cardi via Instagram Live on Tuesday. So apparently Cardi made a comment that she just misses her husband. Not only is it that she misses her husband, she misses her best friend. You know, when you get yourself into a relationship that is long term, despite all of the trials and errors that you guys go through on a personal level, they still become your friend. They become your best friend, you know? And I feel like all women and all men can relate to this. So the bashing that I see on social media saying that she's stupid for taking him back, I think that just goes against all standards as far as, as the human race in general because if we cannot sympathize with the way that she is feeling and the way that she feels is relatable. So the fact that we cannot sympathize with that just because she's a public figure is very mind-blowing to me because I too have been in relationships where I went back because it's like you miss that other half. You can't eat without that other half. You can't sleep without that other half. And even though they've done things to you, it's almost impossible to move on with your life without them. And I think that's what Cardi is saying here is that that is her best friend. You know, despite all things, that is her best friend. And she misses him. And then she even threw in there that he got the good D. I mean, ladies, <laughs> I mean, come on, like... Y'all know what's up. That's one thing about Cordy that I love the most is that she has no filter. She doesn't care. Like, where we will sit here and try to pretend that we don't miss somebody or we try to pretend that we don't go back because of sexual reasons. You guys are a lie. Like, Cardi is speaking for all of us right now. Like, we go back most of the times because the dick's good. Like, let's be real. So, I wanted to just throw that out there. Here's another piece in the article that I'm going to read to you. She said... We're some really typical two young motherfuckers. Got married early. That's what we are. And that's what she said they are. Okay? This is not my words. This is her words. She said, we're not no different than y'all fucking dysfunctional ass relationships. We're the same. We're just more public. And I'm a little bit more retarded. Ha <laughs> ha! Girl, you think girl, little baby. <laughs> Okay, I mean, I'm agreeing, though, because the situation, like, when you look at it firsthand, they're, they are the average couple, really. They really are the average couple. Every relationship may have some infidelities. Every relationship has issues as far as just, it don't even matter. Every relationship has something that can affect them moving forward. But the love and the friendships that you build with your partner is the reason why things last and learning to grow from that. I agree with her as far as saying that they got married really young because it seemed like as soon as they got together into a relationship that everything moved very quickly. And I do think on a personal level, you have to take your time when it comes to marriage because they are both in the public eye, which means they have to face a lot of things that we don't have to face. You know, at least at the end of the day, at least they can, you know, take care of themselves and take care of their households because most men now will go out and cheat and do all those things and can't even provide in the one home that he's in, let alone two. 
So I think if anything, give that man a plus <laughs> because y'all be taking these broke niggas back all the time and they don't contribute to shit. Like y'all be buying their shoes and get crying and shit when they cheating. Like, come on, y'all. Y'all sitting up here being upset at this woman for taking her husband back when, you know, that's her life and that's her business, which is part of the reason why I'm not going to like overdo my thought process on this in particular situation the only thing i can say is girl i'm happy you took your husband back that is your husband you guys made a vow to commit to each other to stay married through thick and thin whatever it is that you guys vow in front of the church of the lord and your pastor whoever your family your loved ones those are what you stick through when you are going through things like this in your marriage i appreciate that she's willing to always talk about it and just keep it real keep it 100 because a lot of us do not do that she is very special for that and even though she's very outspoken and sometimes can be a little raunchy i love that about her because it's not about what everyone outside of their home thinks is about what she thinks and she has made it known that like she said this is my best friend and i missed the dick so anyway there's not nothing more to say than that y'all she missed the dick and that's her best friend so let's keep it moving so anyway thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed this video give it a nice big thumbs up make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave some comments down below you guys if i hear any more about this or if i see like a public interview i'm definitely going to react to it but until then you guys bye